Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Hollywood Studios and Rise of the Resistance for the first time is not doing the virtual boarding groups. They're actually having a standby line. So I wanted to come out and see what the experience was like and also just have a fun day at Hollywood Studios. Anywho's, let's go do this. I didn't want to come for a rope drop because I knew the lines were going to be super long. So I waited till now and it's just about 4 o'clock in the afternoon and Rise of the Resistance is only a 65 minute wait. Earlier this morning it was 220 minutes so it's definitely better to come a little later in the afternoon and plus it's not as hot out. You know what I mean? When you're here mid afternoon it is so hot. So I am super happy about that. 65 minutes? I will wait in a 65 minute line all day long to ride Rise of the Resistance. I think that is amazing. Now, 220 minutes, I mean, that's, that's a little intense. But like I said, as the day goes on, the wait time's gonna go down and it's gonna get cooler out. Rise of the Resistance is 65 minutes and Star Tours is five minutes. So you can actually get a lot accomplished today. I think I'm just gonna head right on into Rise of the Resistance and check out the standby line. If it's only 65 minutes, I don't mind actually hopping in it right now and riding it. And then when we get off, we can actually go around the park and do some other things. I also been meaning to visit Baseline and try and maybe a beer flight and a pretzel. So we'll see if uh, everything just lines up the way we wanted it to. And honestly, it looks like the standby line is inside the attraction itself. I thought it was going to be lined up outside, but no, we're walking right in. Wow, this is really awesome. It's uh, 420, 429? Oh, thank you, thank you. 429, and we're just walking right on in here. I mean, honestly, I've had a boarding group uh, before, and I've waited at like this point right here. So <laughs> this is actually really amazing. So we're just gonna even it out to 4.30, and we're gonna time to see how long it takes us to get in there. But like I said, I've had a boarding group and had to wait exactly where I'm standing right now. And if this is the case like always, then I am all for this. Like I am super excited. Hopefully, like I said, it's gonna be true to the time. So I bet you we'll be in there probably right around 5.30. Look at that, five o'clock, 30 minutes. And I believe this is when the wait time ends because this is when the experience or the attraction begins. So when you first walk into the queue to when you get in the room with uh, Ray and BB-8. You will disembark and proceed to the ride for processing and interrogation. This is so awesome. Thank you. Look at this. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, but like I said, I'm pretty sure the wait time is from when you first walk in the queue to when you get in the room with BB-8 and Ray, but I'll give you also the time from when we get onto the ride vehicle. So 30 minutes for what I think is the wait time, and then we'll tell you actually more once we get up there. One. Silver, silver. Be sure to remember your color as it is vital to your interrogation. Is that understood? Yeah. You think you can learn it? I said, is that understood? <laughs> Until we seat belt securely fastened, keep hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> You're lucky it didn't spot you. <laughs> Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble. <laughs> hey, you're not authorized. Wait, the door to the prison. <laughs>
not brave, but ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run. Be the location of the secret base, and then I will destroy you and the resistance. Crews will meet you outside the wreck. 515. That is unbelievable. So we actually waited in line, rode the ride in just 45 minutes. That is amazing. I can't even believe it. 45 minutes to actually wait in line and ride the ride. Now, the ride actually is 18 minutes long. So like I said, we waited just around 30 minutes to actually get onto the attraction and that is mind-blowing. It has the lightning lane sign up already and it's still saying 65 minute wait, but we know it's 30 minutes actually and I, I just love it, I'm very happy about this. Another really awesome thing I need to point out is now they're allowing people with DAS passes to actually just get a return time. Before, if you had a DAS pass, you still needed to get a boarding group. And I think that was very difficult for some people, especially when you couldn't do it from home, when you actually had to come to the park at like six, seven o'clock in the morning. So now that you actually are, like you have the option to just come and get a return time, I think that's very good that Disney's doing that. Now that we've got our Rise of the Resistance in, I said earlier I really wanted to come to Baseline and get a pretzel and a flight of beer. So here we are, and I'm excited because I love the pretzel here. I also like the beer here as well. I mean, who are we kidding? In fact, it's actually beer o'clock at the moment, so we're right on time. Now you can actually sit down inside Baseline and uh, have your beers and pretzels. Before, it wasn't open in here, it's just to uh, grab drinks and then take them outside. But I like sitting in here. I like actually getting a little AC and yeah, I got myself a nice flight. It looks like they have an Oktoberfest and I got my pretzel and uh, yeah, I'm hungry. Here are my beers. I went with the Golden Road and then I went with the other Golden Road, the North Coast and then the Sierra Nevada, which is the Oktoberfest. And then I got the pretzel, comes with a little mustard, a little cheese, and I'm set. I can't wait to try the Oktoberfest. I love that. I do have to say, so far my favorite Oktoberfest so far this year was uh, still probably the Dufftoberfest over at Universal Studios. I love it. And it probably would go really good with a pretzel. Like, you know what I mean? If I got a pretzel from here, I don't think the Universal pretzels are that good. Disney's pretzel game is like on another level. Universal needs to step it up a little bit. So, cheers. Ooh. Oh yeah. This Oktoberfest is really, really good. And now I got this card to add to my collection. <laughs> Isn't it funny? I love how they give you these little cards and you can keep them. It's like a free souvenir. I think other than drinking some beer and eating some pretzels, maybe we'll head on over to Sunset Boulevard a little bit. Check on Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster. I hear they have the guitar from Rock and Roller Coaster all covered up in scrim, so I'd like to see what's going on there. And I don't know, I wouldn't mind taking a ride on Tower of Terror. I really, that's like still probably one of my favorite attractions in the park. I mean, I love Rise of the Resistance, but nothing could beat Tower of Terror for me. I love coming to Baseline because I can try a whole bunch of different beers. Even though usually I stick to like two beers that I normally get, I always get the Golden Roads. And then I try two like different beers that I normally don't. And they always have rotating taps here. So this time I'm actually trying the North Coast and the uh, Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. And both of them are so, so good. These two right here though, I kind of always get them. This one is super light. It's got a 10 IBU. That is so, like honestly, there's no bitter at all to this beer. It's like almost drinking water. And like, 
it's lower than Bud Light water. When I say IBU, it's the bitter rate. So it, uh, the higher the bitter rate, the more of a like bitterness it takes to it. Uh, a lot of IPAs have a high bitter rate. Uh, like I said, Bud Light, very low. And the same thing with this Golden Road, 10%, well, 10 IBU. And it, like I said, it's like drinking water, but with the hint of alcohol or hint of beer. I took my last golden road with me. I took my last golden road on the road. <laughs> and now we're gonna head on over to uh, Tower of Terror. Yeah, and uh, just basically that area and just check it out. The weather is absolutely amazing today. Like for the first time, I'm really feeling like it's fall. Even though it actually officially didn't turn fall until yesterday, I believe. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's in the 80s right now and the humidity is not high at all. And I am loving it. Oh, we got a pause for a cavalcade. Chip and Dale are coming through here. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> oh. oh, look, Donald is out too! We got Minnie in her car, and then we got Pluto, and then Donald, and then Mickey behind them. I love Donald. Look at the way he walks. <laughs> oh my lord, I cannot get over the wait times today. Right now, I'm actually approaching the Tower of Terror, and I'm pretty sure I see 13 minutes on the sign and if that's the case that is unbelievable so rise of the resistance 30 minute standby wait and hollywood tower hotel a walk-on oh and star tours was five minutes this is pretty amazing oh wait i was wrong it doesn't say 13 minutes it says 15 minutes but that is still amazing and we're gonna ride i mean when you walk past here and it's a 15 minute wait to ride tower <laughs> of terror then you just you just hop in line lightning lane or not this is really starting to be an amazing day today like holy moly <laughs> nobody in line for tower of terror and we basically did rise of the resistance in under an hour oh that was creepy it should have been a 13 minute wait because it's just a walk on. Look at how awesome this bell hop is over here. She is literally hiding on the side of the door as you walk into the Tower Hotel, scaring people and I think it's just so awesome. Very creepy, she actually scared me when I first walked in. Oh, look at this, we're getting row number one. I love it. <laughs> All right. I hope you do enjoy your stay at the Hollywood Tower Hotel, and if you do need anything, just ring. Woo! 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 I need to go. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of your imagination. In the The Tower of Terror can really get your blood pumping. I love it. That is seriously one of like my all-time favorite Disney rides. It is so fun and I hope they never change it. I hope it stays this way and I hope I can go over to California and ride Guardians there. On the way out in the gift shop of the Tower of Terror, take a look at this trinket jar set of three. It's from Nightmare Before Christmas and if any of you guys are Nightmare Before Christmas fans, then this is so cool it has warmsworth it has frog's breath and then it actually has diddly nightshade as well and these are jars and it's 29.99 i think that is so cool i ended up buying the trinket jar set i couldn't pass up the frog's breath i don't even know what i'm going to use it for but i think it's so cool i mean you really have to be a nightmare before christmas fanatic to know what most of those are but it is really unique and i think they just got released tuesday and it was 29.99 of course i got my discount came to like 25 bucks and i'm gonna smile looking at these in my kitchen 
Now we're gonna make our way over to Rock and Roller Coaster. Like I said, they have the guitar all covered in scrim. I can see it already. And uh, maybe they're just gonna touch up the paint job there. I mean, even if they do decide to actually rename it other than Aerosmith, I don't think they'd be getting rid of the rock and like guitar because it's kind of all apart this. I think they would just actually change it to a different band. Or I would love to see a Monsters Inc. ride because that'd be amazing. Holy moly, and that's Machine Gun Kelly right there. How cool is that? <laughs> yeah, that's really nifty. Well, that was kind of cool. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox kind of just walked into my shot. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's really awesome. I like seeing celebrities hanging out at Disney, especially riding rock and roller coaster. But what do you guys think they're doing here? And also, what would you guys like to see actually if they ever decided to replace this ride with something else or like retheme it? I know they've been talking about this for years. You know what I mean? But I mean, eventually I'm sure the contracts are gonna expire and it's gonna be rethemed or actually they're gonna might maybe make a whole new ride, like something different. I would like to see like a Pixar ride or a Monsters Incorporated ride or even a revamped rock and roller coaster with maybe a band from something newer i mean let me know in the comments what you guys think i'm gonna pass on the rock and roller coaster at the moment instead i think we're gonna head on over and check out the wait time for mickey and minnie's runaway railway and maybe over to andy's backyard see what the wait times are like over there i don't know it's still actually daylight out so i don't know if we're gonna actually be able to see if rise of resistance actually stays like a low wait time as it gets darker out because we might be done by then Look at this, as I was actually walking about though, I see Pluto out on a grassy knoll. Pluto on a grassy knoll. <laughs> and as I was walking back to Andy's backyard, I see one of the times guides, and take a look at that, Rise of the Resistance is now quoted 55 minutes. Even though we rode it in 30, it definitely went down a lot more. And I don't know, maybe a ride on Slinky Dog Dash or Toy Story Midway Mania I haven't done in a while. We can see what time they're actually going. 25 minutes and 40 minutes. Wow, it is really a great day to be at Hollywood Studios today. You know, to be kind... You know, to be honest, I kind of feel like riding alien swirling saucers. I just rode Slinky Dog Dash, I think this week, and uh, Toy Story Midway Mania, but I feel like it's been a while since I've been on alien swirling saucers, and the music is kind of calling my name, and it's probably only a five minute wait, so I think we're gonna do that instead. Oh, wait. Uh-oh, we gotta get in there before this gigantic group actually heads in there. It looks like there's about 50 of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> I wonder if this is a ride that I need to put a mask on for. We're running for it. We're gonna make it. Yep, five minute wait. Excellent. I rushed all the way over here. They're not even coming on this ride. They're heading into Galaxy's Edge. <laughs> well, they don't know what they're missing out on because this is where it's at. Who needs Smuggler's Run when you can ride alien swirling saucers? And no, I guess you don't need to actually wear a mask here because it is all outdoors. Oh, and the lights are starting to turn on, so it's gonna be very pretty when we get in there. We gotta be careful. We don't want to break any of our trinket jars. I don't know if they're made out of glass or not, but we're gonna keep it nice and safely protected. You know, for this being a kid ride, it is a very rough ride. It tosses you basically back and forth, and there's no like lap restraint, it's just a seat belt. You definitely feel it, it's definitely a physical rough ride. During the holidays, they do a Christmas overlay in here where they actually play like different Christmas music, and I can't wait to see that. I would love to see them do like a Halloween one. That would be something else, and it's so pretty in here at night. And you got those little guys right there. And look, it's gonna transfer right over to the next circle, right here. Catch, boom. <laughs> you can hang on as much as you want, but you're gonna still slide. <laughs> Crazy! 
Sydney. Whoa! Oh, we're coming to an end here. It's slowing down. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Such a fun, fun ride. And now I think we'll head back into Galaxy's Edge and go check out Rise of the Resistance. And uh, my trinket jar set is intact. Well, now it's looking a little bit more like 65 minutes. <laughs> I mean, before it was quoted 65 minutes, but it was only 30. And you can definitely see what a 65 minute wait line looks like. And this will be it just about here. I mean, yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of accurate because when we got a ride, this part of the queue on the other side wasn't open and we kind of just walked in. So this is a 65 minute wait. Well, there you have it. I don't think I'm gonna actually ride it for a second time, even though I probably should because I really think it's an amazing 65 minute wait. And uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm all aboard the no boarding group. Like, I think it's actually an, an, a great thing. And I don't know, I enjoyed my day at Hollywood Studios today. I'm walking out with some trinkets, actual trinket, trinket jars. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye!